Don't try to test me. It's gonna get messy. So just bless me. So just bless me. <laughs> we better not get copywritten for that, motherfuckers. Cheers to Northwest and Kanye Z. Good badass album. I love I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm. But there are a lot of haters that supposedly are concerned about this little girl's behavior. Of course, motherfuckers want to get jealous because they didn't make a top billboard song at 10 years old. They didn't. Because their dads were not a fucking god who was worth $400 million and is a goddamn genius. All right? So they got to be jealous and they got to talk shit. But this little girl turns into a homework. And a homework are what are three things you're grateful for today? I remember this ass when we were kids. They used to make us do this. She put, I'm grateful for the Vultures one album. The first one, motherfuckers. Because it's insanely good. Oh, that's a good look. Everything pr pronounced, spelled correctly, even punctuation. It's really good for a little girl 10 years old. That's really good writing. Her, her writing's better than mine. I suck at, like, I, I look like, a, like I'm a doctor, but I'm not a doctor. I didn't even go to a fucking college. You know what I'm saying? I'm barely educated. The motherfucker writes really good. So she knows she's a genius. She says, I'm also grateful for the black vulture because if vultures weren't alive, this amazing album wouldn't have come out. Oh, because the album's called Vultures, y'all. The little girl says, Lastly, I am grateful for the gang, Cardi Val. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever, if you, if you see that song, I think it talks about a girl giving head, give head. Yeah, she give head like a carnival. Uh uh, she gives head like a carnival. <laughs> so that's all she's talking about. Um, and then she draws the album cover from her dad, which is her dad and her stepmother's, uh, spare ass. Uh, and she draws it, and people are saying this is dangerous. That she likes her dad. And he influences her. What do y'all think? Think something like this is bad? That a daughter loves her father and everything he does? And is like a superhero? A provocative? Uh, debaucherous superhero? Nonetheless, still a superhero. In his daughter's eye. Just saying. Cheers to the Yeezy, because I will say this. The Yeezy is still a better dad than a lot of motherfuckers out there that I know. At least he's in his children's life. Cheers, Yeezy! I love you on this channel. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.